Now we are going to talk about the importance of forests. You all know that importance of forest is there in the life of human beings because they provide us with various things. But let us talk about the various factors which make the forest very very important in the life of the human beings. The first is that forest actually modify the local climate, hot, cold, rainy, whatever it is. Next is it controls soil erosion. If there is a heavy rainfall, it could be that the soil actually gets washed off, but it is the forest which controls such soil erosion. Next is it regulates the flow of the streams. Next is it supports the industries by providing them with various raw materials which are available in the deep forests. Next is it provides employment that is it is generating employment to various people that is indirectly or directly. They could be people who are actually doing a great job in getting the raw material from the forest and then there are those who are processing those raw materials in various industries. So, generating employment for the masses. Next is it controls the wind force and when it controls the wind force, it actually regulates the rainfall. Next is it provides humus to soil and when there is humus in the soil, the soil becomes fertile. Next is it is a shelter to the wildlife of the country. So many animals find themselves most comfortable in the forest that is when they are not under the human eye. Next is we see that all these factors together actually make the importance of forest. Forest in fact is giving us everything directly or indirectly. Next thing that you must know is that in India there is a change in the natural vegetation that is found. Why is such a wide change occurring in the natural vegetation of India? The reasons are first of all there is a huge demand of cultivated land in India. When the demand for cultivated land is increasing naturally what are you doing? You are actually clearing the natural vegetation for the growth of agriculture thus changing the shape of the natural vegetation. Industries and mining. Industries need a particular kind of raw material and thus it is changing the natural vegetation. Mining is also destroying the natural vegetation. So, a lot of harm has been done from this angle too. Next is urbanization. Man's needs have increased due to urbanization. As he has moved from the villages to the cities, he is becoming greedy and not land can actually provide to every man's greed. Yes, every man's need can be fulfilled by the land but not every man's greed. Next is overgrazing of pasture. The animals are left astray and they are grazing recklessly in the pasture thus making the natural vegetation take a different shape there too. So, whether it is industries mining overgrazing or the cultivation of land which has been increased all are making a difference together in the change in the natural vegetation of India.